President Yuri Kaguta Museveni and the First Lady Janet Kataha Museveni recently announced the reopening of schools a year after they were closed down due to the fear of COVID-19. Open in March in a staggered way. Government is now convinced that the model of phased reopening of schools and institutions of higher learning is the only way to go. Since the resumption of schools of candidate classes last year, the country has registered no serious case. The country hasn't registered any serious case of COVID-19 among its students. Even those few cases that were registered were managed by the health workers, the school administrators, and the parents. So we believe that the children will be safe while at school. I therefore call upon all parents and guardians to take the reopening of schools seriously. Parents and guardians are hereby advised to prepare in advance for the first March 2021 semi-candidates return to school. All children that have been cleared to resume physical interactions at school on March 1st have to be supported by the parents and the teachers as they begin school. Parents and all community members need to understand that it is legal to keep school going children at home when school has started. There have been reports of children who are engaged in child labor and would prefer to continue making money instead of resuming school. I want to advise all parents and caretakers to recall all those children who have been doing some work from wherever they are so that they can be prepared to begin school come 1st March 2021. With the cases of teenage pregnancy reported to have shut up during the pandemic and school shutdown, a fair and conducive learning environment is being emphasized. We should remember that the Minister of Education also gave guidance regarding child mothers and pregnant girls. Those must also be supported to continue with their classes. We call upon community members and schools to support such girls and ensure that they continue with their education. The Minister for ICT, Judith Nabakoba, however, emphasizes the stay home for nursery learners. During the week, the Honorable Minister of Education, Mama Janet Museven, gave us more information regarding schools reopening. She informed the country that nursery and pre-primary schools will not be reopening until we are sure that COVID-19 pandemic is no more. The decision has been taken basing on the advice from the scientists and Minister of Health. These young children are safer off at home as of now. They do not have the understanding yet to follow the existing COVID-19 guidelines such as wearing masks and social distancing. I therefore call upon everyone, especially the parents, to use this opportunity to nurture and grow their children while at home. On the political scene, Nabakoba appeals to Ugandans to resume their normal lives and businesses since political campaigns are now over. My humble appeal to everyone is that let us return to our regular routines of work and duty towards our families and country. Let everyone look out for the existing government opportunities, starting with the sub-county level. There are a number of opportunities in our sub-counties, in our districts. For example, when you talk about the Youth Livelihood Program, the Uganda Women Entrepreneurship Program, the Mioga Fund, all those income-generating projects, including Operation Wealth Creation Projects. The level of implementation begins at sub-county level, even the level of planning. So we encourage everyone in our communities to use the opportunity available, go to the sub-county, demand for information. Robert Unyango, UBC News, Mitiani.